terror reigns supreme at the Godzilla premiere. Now some fear the disaster movie could be a disaster at the box office. That's tonight's top copy. We've been trampled by all the monster mega hype. Now he is finally here. But is the new and improved Godzilla going to have diehard fans running for cover? We, we had this big conference room and suddenly we unveiled the creature. And everybody on the Japanese side stands up and like, very shocked. They looked at it and they started to talk. You can see in their, mind, in, in their face that they started getting excited about it. The designer of the new monster insists the Japanese creators of the original have come around. But it is a far cry from the original. Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Those who have sneaked a peek say the 1998 version is more like a T-Rex with morning breath. The monster is uh, truly different in terms of how it moves and acts. But it, he does the same thing. He can, instead of destroying Tokyo, he just destroys New York. But the monster designer has no regrets. So obviously you have to seriously redesign the proportion of the body. Make it basically like a, uh, Godzilla went into a, a gym session for a little while. No, fitness kind of stuff. Adding more confusion, some say the new monster is having a sexual identity crisis. Throughout the movie, they call Godzilla he, yet the lizard lays eggs. And it turns out he's a hermaphrodite. He's a, a man, a monster, but he obviously can carry young. Uh, he has, he leaves eggs uh, because we need a sequel. Godzilla's controversial new look was the best kept secret in Hollywood. For the full year of fabrication, we had guards, security guards with I mean, like, you know, guns and stuff outside the shop. Despite that massive security, hard copy has learned the lizard's tantalizing secrets. And you have the, the real, real people inside huge costumes, and you have three or four people per uh, monster with a remote control. The eyes, the tail. He lizard, lizard, lizard. Either way, it is a marketing bonanza, with sponsors even going for laughs at Godzilla's expense. I think I need a bigger box. Well, Sony's marketing is, is in one word, brilliant. It's just, it's phenomenal. It's, it's on the same par as Independence Day. Whether you love or loathe the new lizard, the $50 million marketing plan guarantees Godzilla will be a box office monster. Godzilla is a definite blockbuster film.